Welcome everyone to another highlight lighting tutorial. So in this video, we are going to show you how you compare multiple wall mounts or remote control to the same LED controller or multiple LED controllers. Now this step applies to our RGBW Zigbee um, range as well as our single color and tunable white, which we're going to use for this example. Now, if you have, if you don't have, sorry, if you don't have a Zigbee hub device, it's okay. You can still use this device as a stand alone. So this step must be taken if your if your um, LED controllers are not paired with a Zigbee Smart Hub device. If you have a Zigbee Smart Hub device, it's a different procedure that we're going to show you in a different video. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is to reset both LED controllers and wall mounts. Okay, or remote controls is the same step. So for the LED controllers, you want to press the program button five times. Once you've pressed the program button five times, it resets the LED controllers. Then you want to go ahead and reset the wall mount. You're going to press and hold on to the power button, then press the power button five times. So press and hold. LED light will come up. Then one, two, three, four, five. Now the wall mount have been reset. Now this next step, you have to ensure that the wall mounts and the LED controllers are in close proximity, maximum a 10 centimeter distance. So that you have to keep them as close as possible. So what we're going to do first is to put them on the same Zigbee network. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and put the LED controllers into pairing mode you can do them at the same time because right now we're just trying to put them on the same network so in order to do that you press the program button four times four times one two three four the LED lights will blink to signify that they're now available to be paired on a Zigbee network and now we're gonna put the wall mounts on the same Zigbee network now note that this is not pairing we're just putting them on the same network, okay? So in order to put them on the same network, we're gonna start with one wall mount, press and hold onto the power button until the LED light flashes. Then you wanna show press S1. Then the LED indicator should flash quickly to signify successful um, pairing on the same um, network. Now we've done one, we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. Please note that there is a 180 second time out window. In the eventuality that you're not sure, you can press the program button four times again to keep the window open. So we're gonna go ahead and press the, um, the power button on this secondary wall mount. Show press S1. And the wall mount should flash quickly as you as you can see to ensure that they are now all on the same network now once you put the wall mount or remote control whichever you might have on the same network you now want to go ahead and pair them so in order to pair them you want to go ahead and um, I'm not too sure if we're still within the 180 seconds so I'm just gonna press the program button again on the LED controller in this case you want to do them one at a time okay so we're gonna go and press the program button four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, just to keep the network open. Then we're gonna go onto the wall mount, the first wall mount. So we're gonna put them onto zone one, okay, or group one. So show press one, press and hold onto the power button. Then show press S2, okay, S2 and not S1. Now the LED lights, which are these ones, should blink. And then they will blink again to signify successful pairing. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and quickly test it. So we're going to turn off the light. Turn it back on. We can put it to warm or cool just to ensure. Now you're going to go ahead and pair the second LED controller or how many you may have. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and um, press the program button four times. 
one two three four okay this is the light then you want to go onto the wall mount same step so show press one press and hold onto the power button until LED lights comes up then show press S2 and this light should be paired successfully Blink once and then it will blink again to signify successful pairing. And that is done. You're gonna go ahead and test it. Both lights turn on, both lights go on to cool, both lights will go on to warm white. You then you then wanna go ahead and, and repeat the same step with the secondary wall mount or remote control, depending on what you have. So we're gonna go ahead and press the program button four times just to keep the network open, but you do have a 180 second window, but if you're not too sure of the time, you can go ahead. So one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the light. So we're gonna put it onto zone one. Again, you can put it onto different zone, but we're assuming that you wanna control it from the same um, zone. Okay, so show press one, press and hold. Then, Show press S2. This light should pair onto zone one. And that's been successfully done. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the step. Cause this is almost done. We're gonna repeat the step. You can test it if you want, but actually let, let's test it. As you can see, only one is paired because we only paired this one. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the step for this one here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll come to the wall mount. So zone one, press and hold onto the power button until the LED light flashes, then S2. And as you can see, the light is now paired and it will blink again to signify successful pairing. Now both wall mounts are able to control both um, LED controllers. So if we turn this one off, turn it on, turn it off from here, turn it back on, warm and cool white. So this is the step that you can do, of course, depending on the number of LED controllers or wall mount that you might have, uh, you have to repeat the procedure. But this is how you can pair the, you can pair multiple wall mounts to the same LED controller or to the or to multiple LED controllers. I hope this video has helped. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.